This is the biggest garter snake that I've ever caught. Alright guys, this is Adventure North Wild, and I just had my second snake relocation of the year, and this is a giant uh, garter snake. He's tried to bite me a couple times already, if he does, it's whatever, it happens. This thing is beefy. It's, it's awesome. I'm glad the dude called me instead of just killing the snake. I've been trying to get people to realize that these snakes are completely harmless and it's much better to safely ro relocate them than just kill them. They're so beneficial that people don't really realize that. Keep the rodent populations down and do all that good stuff. And this guy is awesome. This is definitely an adult. I believe it's a female adult. The way you can tell that is if you look in the tail here. It's very short and stubby. Um, also, the more I look at it, it may have been cut off by a lawnmower or something like that. But um, so I still believe this is a female garter snake. Now in Minnesota, we have three kinds of garter snakes. The plains garter snake, the common garter snake, and the red-sided garter snake. Red-sided, you can obviously tell when you find them. It has red stripings down the um, back of the body. This is a plains garter snake, and this is how you can... Hey, 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 hey. Mm. Bite me, I'm gonna be mad. I'm showing you nothing but respect. We're using you as a teaching lesson. We're not gonna bite people. <laughs> All right, so if you can see on the... Hey, Jeez. that is cool. If you can see on the side, of his mouth here. There's some labial bars. They go up and down, right on the side of the mouth. <gasps> oh, he bit the camera! But the bars on the side of the mouth are what indicates it is a plains garter snake over a common garter snake. A common garter snake does not have those lines there. Um, they look very similar, but that's... Um... Jeez, what are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah, that's the, that's the way you can tell a plains garter snake over the common garter snake. And like I said, a red side garter, red side of garter snake, gonna have the red lines running all the way down its body. So let's talk about a couple defense mechanisms for the snake. Obviously, striking like he is right now, he feels he feels threatened. Um, and understandably, he's. He's nervous, still showing him respect, but he's he's definitely ready to go. So that's one defense mechanism is strike and biting. He just kind of bluff struck at me there. The other one is they'll actually poop on you, which is, um, it smells awful. It smells like, I don't even know how to explain it. They do that to, uh, for um, animals that are trying to eat them. Uh, they do it to make them smell unappetizing. It makes them smell awful. It makes them smell rotten so the animal thinks something's wrong with it and they're not going to want to um, eat it and a lot of times the snake gets away because of that. A lot of things they eat, you've seen on my one of my videos we caught or I was able to get on film a garter snake eating a leopard frog. So they eat frogs, they eat toads, they eat mice all around. They're great for rodent control like I mentioned earlier. All right now one one really cool fact a lot of people that don't know about garter snakes um, Garter snakes are actually mildly venomous. They have a mild neurotoxic venom and it doesn't affect humans. You've seen he bit me a couple times. It doesn't affect me, I'm not gonna die. Um, but it, what it does is it, it stuns its prey just long enough. So if it latches onto a toad, it's gonna stun it, it's gonna slow it down with that venom and it allows it to eat it much easier. Um, and so a lot, of thing, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people don't know that about garter snakes. They, they, are, they are slightly venomous but um, they're completely harmless, harmless to humans. They have nothing to worry about. Can they make you bleed if, you, if they bite? Yeah. So yeah, my sister just asked if they can make you bleed when they bite you. They can. I've been bitten a couple times by this one, but he's not really striking hard. But I have bled from him before. It kind of feels like a pin prick, just kind of in your finger. A lot of times they, they just kind of latch on for a second, don't let go, just showing you. Or they're, just, they're saying, hey, let me go. I'm, I'm ready to be free. 
Um, but yeah, like I said, they're completely harmless. Um, please, if you see them in the wild, if you can pick them up, they might try and bite you. They might, they'll feel threatened. Um, just show them proper respect, and and they should they should do the same for you. You can find garter snakes anywhere in Minnesota. Um, they have a very wide range all across the United States. Uh, it's the most common snake that you come across anywhere in Minnesota. They kind of live in every habitat possible. They live by the lakes, the marshes, the prairies, um, just as long as there's a water source nearby and there's a food source nearby. Um, so, well, that's about all I got today. I'm glad you guys decided to watch this video. Hope you learned a little bit more about uh, the garter snake. And I'm glad that the guy decided to call me so I could relocate him instead of him getting killed because this is a beautiful snake.